Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. I recently purchased some more of the Your Sugar stamping plates and in this video I'll be swatching and reviewing three of the square Your Sugar stamping plates. As always, you'll find where I purchased them from in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification turned on. And please also like this video. These really do help out my channel. Thank you. So I have my usual scraper along with three different stampers. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use. I have my Nail Artisan Tiffany Duo Clear Stamper. The small end of the clear jelly stamper, the crystal double ended stamper. And I also have a new stamper, which is the Born Pretty Dual End Gradient Stamper Sponge Pen. I've not used this stamper yet, so I'm just going to give it a clean over my lint roller before I start. And my first Your Sugar stamping plate, URM11, is just the perfect stamping plate to try this on. But I'm not sure if it's going to work, which is why I've gotten the Clear Jelly Stamper Crystal Stamper on hand as well. I'm going to start with a white nail tip along with a black stamping polish. With these small images like these, you don't need a lot. I did remove the excess on the first one before placing down. And I'm not sure how this is going to actually work, but I have to say that it's worked really quite well for the first time. Nice one. So I'm going to pick up two more images using this, just so you can see me using it a little bit more. With this next image, I'm not going to remove any of the excess before placing down. But what I am going to do to remove the excess from the nail tip is I'm going to use acetone and a cotton bud. Now, personally, I would love for there to be a clear one of these on the market. It would be a lot easier so you can actually see what you're doing. Now, this bee that I'm going for doesn't transfer well and I'm putting that down to my scraping and that I scraped too much so I removed too much of the polish but it's still a good design though. I'm now going to show you a couple on the stamper but I have to say what a great little stamper works brilliantly. I will leave a link where I purchased this from as well it's, it's quite a good little stamper to be fair. Moving on to your M12, I'm going to use a beige nail tip along with a dark brown stamping polish. I've now switched to my Tiffany Duo stamper. I'm also going to be using a little bit more polish as these images are quite long. I just want to make sure that I am going to get to that bottom of that image. But this design, I have to say, looks amazing. For the next swatch, I'm going to use a silver coloured nail tip along with a black stamping polish. Now, personally, I love shattered glass effect manis. And this design is going to be just perfect for a mani. And an image that I know that I'm going to use and will probably use quite a few times. It is gorgeous. Moving on to URM13, I'm going to be using a purple coloured nail tip with a white stamping polish. This image would look amazing all coloured in or on a multicoloured background or even the new Sharpie pen stamping that's going about. But this white really looks good over the purple. For my last swatch, I'm going to be using a yellow nail tip along with a red stamping polish. Now this whole nail would look amazing for a bright summer mani and I almost used it for my mani but to be fair I love how this looks, it looks super bright and super stunning. And then here they are all together so let's move on to the photo swatches and manis that I've created from these three Your Sugar stamping plates. 
Your M11 is just brilliant. There is so many designs across this plate, it's unreal. There's about 50 in total. When I first saw this, I thought it'd be a cool plate to have in my collection. As you never know when you could need, say, an image like a snail or a snake or a toadstool. Now, one thing I was a little surprised at was that some of them are actually layering designs. I was like, what? No. But I found nine of them from across this plate. For these swatches, I've used the clear jelly stamper, crystal double-ended stamper, and it was the small end. There was a few things I did find when using your M11, um, and that was to use as little polish as possible. Also, don't over scrape and work really quickly. Because there is so little polish, it will dry even quicker than normal stamping. Which is why I have only used my Clear Jelly Stamper stamping polishes. Because they are a slower drying stamping polish, I actually found this really helpful. Now, I haven't made a mani from this plate. To be fair, I wanted to leave a mani for when I actually needed to use this plate. But as you can see from the swatches, I didn't have any trouble with any of the images. They have all worked perfectly. Your M12 has the most amazing effect images. There is, however, only six, but they are stunning. I adore plates like this and have many like this one, but they're all different in their own way. Shattered glass is a stunning effect to create for a mani. And I personally love to make them. And I've actually done a few already in the past, but I also love the tree bark designs as well. They're very unique. I've been trying to think through my stamping plates and I don't think I have anything like these. So I'll definitely be using these for a mani sometime. For the mani, I went with the shattered glass effect using a pink base and stamped in silver. Now I was going to double stamp by using a black over the top of the silver, but slightly off, if that makes any sense. But I felt that it might have been too much for this design, but I love how this has turned out. This is definitely what I call a me mani. Onto your M13, which has also six stunning but floral images this time. Just recently, I've picked up a few new floral plates, but this one has to be one of my favorites out of them. When I see this plate, I think spring and summer manis with loads and loads of bright colors. But I also see them colored in as well, or over a multicolored background, really sort of emphasizing on the bright multicolored side of it. There is one image in particular that I will be using first when I return, but what a stunning little plate this is. It is just gorgeous. For the Manny, I created this gorgeous blue nail polish, which is sort of weird as the color underneath the shimmery blue one is actually green. I then stamped in a dark blue. Now what I've actually done is I've used two different images for this design, which again, I just love the outcome. For me, this plate is one of them must haves. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days, along with the manis and products that I've used. There is a link in the description box below for you to come over and follow me. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on these three Your Sugar stamping plates. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below, I love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glittershine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.